If you've ever tried to ride on a snowboard, you know it's not as easy as it looks. Well, the making of a snowboard is much the same. There's more to it than meets the eye. The snowboard is the delight of winter sport enthusiasts. Its core is made of a thin sheet of wood. Various kinds of woods are used depending on the type of board being made. Bindings have to be firmly attached to the board. Holes are drilled for inserts to which bindings will be secured. A template allows the holes to be precisely drilled. Planing reduces the board to the required thickness. A thick board is obviously more rigid than a thin one. A shaping procedure refines the board's contours. At this point, the board is still perfectly flat with no curvature as yet. The boards are then stored upright to await the next step. Now they must secure the aluminum inserts which will be embedded in the wood. This thin sheet of fiberglass will afford better support for the inserts. They will thus be more solid. To make working on it easier, the board is securely held in place by clamps. Epoxy, an extremely strong adhesive often used with composite materials, is applied to the fiberglass at room temperature. It is then essential to remove any excess epoxy as well as to eliminate all air bubbles so that there will be a good adherence. As for the top part of the board, it's made of a resistant plastic applied by silk screening. In silk screening, ink is spread by this little squeegee. This application is called a pass. Colors have to be applied one at a time. Inks must be allowed to dry for several hours between each coat. Now the board must be curved. A cover is placed on the mold. When the mold is closed, the board is given the desired curve. Heat trapped in the mold makes the epoxy set and harden. The board comes out of the mold and any excess epoxy and wood are removed by a band saw. To achieve a perfect cut, the saw blade is changed every 50 boards. It's highly precise work and totally manual. They apply, again by silk screening, another coat, then another color, this time the red. The snowboard must now be protected. A protecting varnish flows as a thin curtain. The board passes beneath this curtain and then moves into a dryer for a six-hour stay. Sanding removes surplus varnish from the edges of the board. New holes are pierced into the board to locate the inserts installed at the beginning of production. This sander removes imperfections in the hardened varnish and prepares the board for its second varnish coating. Then the plastic base is sanded to obtain the desired finish. The board is checked to see that it's perfectly flat. A razor blade verifies that the different coats are well adhered to one another. Certain boards get an engraved aluminum insert, a luxury touch. The board is finally now ready for action. This facility turns out over 500 snowboards per day in a range of some 30 different models.